I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this first one and go to the playoffs because you need to understand you're not locked in. You can actually move up or down depending on I how know that. Go. But if the Texans gonna beat the Titans, they could. They That's beat the Chargers. James they beat on. the Chargers. How many to do better than that? Because here for uh, No, no, no. Tech, tech, tech. I am doing better than that. Listen to me carefully. You understand as best as I do this year, any given Sunday, we've had so many teams win games that they should not have this year because it's so evenly matched across the board. So you're saying the Texans are evenly matched with the Titans? Name the, Titans, the Texans quarterback. I can't, but, you know. Exactly. Name the Titans running back. Dude's name was like Johnson or some shit or whatever. Exactly. But See my point? I mean, you the know. The thing is, the Titans are the better team matchup for matchup. If and I'm not saying they're it, not. But I'm not saying that Houston can't beat them. Especially, a, isn't that I'm a... I'm going to say they can't. They don't stand a chance at all. Division rivalries, though, man. Anything they don't stand happen. a chance at all. If they had... um, What's his damn name? Uh... Uh, busted lungs, then he should have chewed through the fucking Chargers. Um, if they had him at quarterback, I would give him a chance. But you're going against a, uh, I say, B level defense with this Penn Valley quarterback, it's doomed for failure. All right. Well, In the let's Titans, just say, let's just say they pull off the miracle of so all miracles, though, and the Titans lose. They're not on 34th they, Street. No miracle's going to happen. But if they lose and Kansas City wins, Kansas City's back in that number one spot. That I know. But this is where you got to be true going to be a reality of the situation. The NFL's already let it be known. They want Mahomes on the road so they can make money off Mahomes. Because all you've been hearing for the past month, he's never played a playoff game on the road. He's never played a playoff game on the road. Games we're supposed to lose, we done won. We get to the Bengals, they change the refs, and these refs miss blatant calls to where I think it was um, whatever channel the game was on, they officially they talked to with Mike Pereira, whatever his name is, outright said they're doing a horrible job. Some of these calls should not have been made. So they want yeah. Mahomes on the road because Brady's here, Mahomes is here. You got to get your cash cow to where – you want Brady to fade to the win. This is the new QB face. We need everybody outside of Kansas City in Tennessee or in um, San Diego, L.A. or whatever to know this face so we can sell that, that much more jerseys, that much more Mahomes apparel. We're trying to get him to where he keeps the cash cow going because when Rodgers leaves, Brady leaves, we know Ben's leaving, we got to have our next tier of quarterback. We think he's going to be the one. We thought it was Hibbert. He ain't did nothing. We gave him praise. He lost the shootout. Now we're going Joe Burrow's the greatest quarterback ever, but he's only had two, three weeks of solid game. So we can't push Burrow. Carson Wentz, he's doing decent, but he faltered against y'all. Matthew Stafford, oh, he about to kill it with the Rams. He threw that game away Sunday. They got lucky and won that game. If Odell didn't have them stick them gloves on, that four down pass wouldn't have been caught. Rams would have lost that game. So okay. we gotta, now, now sticking with the playoffs, though, that's all the more reason why Kansas City should win. If they lose and the Bengals win, guess who the number two seed is now all of a sudden? Because they beat Kansas City last week in a game that I, they know they had no business You're missing winning. the obvious point of all this. I get all these scenarios or whatever. They mean nothing. Why it's not? all about the dollar and ticket sales. Okay, stop talking dollars. You talking about the NFL. Forget about the money they're making. I'm talking about for me, you, and Joe Blow, the fan. We want to talk matter. about the seedings. That don't it, matter. It's Kevin, all about the stop money. Stop talking, Kevin. I'm talking about they could play this team or they could play that team. The purpose of us talking about the playoffs right now is to talk about if Kansas City faces this team, I can't how will they do it? If I'm talking about the reality of it all, the reality of it all is about the dollar. Okay, it's about the dollar. Sure. Forget it then. Forget it. We won't talk about the playoffs anymore. Oh Forget my God, the playoffs. You're not trying to listen. They're going to make sure. I have listened. You keep saying the same damn thing. And I'm I keep telling you to forget about thing. the dollar. They want Tennessee at number one. 
I, 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 I skipped Tennessee. I said, I agree with you. Fine. I started talking about the Bengals. That's why I said, you're not listening. I started talking about the Bengals. I'm the moving down the list. The fans. They beat us because Spags was in his fucking pride. Okay, now you're talking about the past. It doesn't matter what happened. You lost that game, and I'm trying to say yeah. about the repercussions of it. The repercussions don't matter because they want us on the road. If we don't get another Kevin, two seed, we're on the road. Kevin, stop and listen. Stop. Close your mouth. Cover okay. it for a second. Listen. Right. You're stop, going to be stop. on the road whether you're the number two seed or the number three seed. But who you play is the difference. Be at home. Two seed, then why are you home. talking about the road? Because either way, you're going to play Tennessee oh in the God. next round. I'm talking about for the first round, you'll either be the two or the three. All I'm trying to say is, who do you expect to play and why? That's where I'm going with we play. Where we play, we go beat them. We're going to be on the road the next round. That's the point okay. I made. Where Stop we play? talking about round two. I'm just talking about round one. I'm okay, trying to say, one, if you're the one, two seed. That's the thing. Round one, we're either playing you or the charge. One of the two. Exactly, and that's where I'm going with it. It's the AFC we're gonna game. We're going to be home regardless. Okay. We're going to be home regardless on that game. Because we won the division, so it doesn't matter. We're going to be at home. We have a but better division. if you threat. have to play the Chargers, don't you I'm think that that's going to be a tough game? No, it's not. It's not going to be a tough game. Hibbert has been going down. If you pay attention, look at his numbers, he's going down. Okay, what, what if you had to play – what if you have to play the Patriots? We got to play the Patriots. They quarterback's not proven. If we get on his ass, he's not going to do anything. But what about that the 50 defense? points they put up last week on the Jags was a fucking joke. It was the Jaguars. What about the Colts? Carson Wentz showed he's Carson Wentz last week. Because they should have beat y'all. When Carson needed to make a play, did he? I seen where he throwing it behind T.Y. Hilton. He's throwing it with his other receiver. He missed point blank shot. He missing him. Yeah, if you don't make it a run game, just run the fucking ball. That's what it should have been a run game. And what's y'all's weakness on the defense? The run game. Not if Chris Jones in the middle. If they try to, if they go to the outside of where which that's not JT Strong, so they got to go up the middle. Chris Jones is right there. If Bowden's back, he's right behind Chris Jones. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout. It's going to be a good game, but we're going to prevail because if we make them put it in Carson's hand, Carson can't win the game. Only quarterback I'm worried about in the AFC, somewhat Burrow, really just Burrow because Tannehill ain't the dude. And if Derrick Henry come back, how much are you really going to run him with that broken foot? Because you both, you and I both know, that's a fragile part of your body, and he's not a little dude. He's what, about 260, 270. That foot, in my opinion, he shouldn't want to play this season before he's going to break it again. But what they saying, they get the bye week, they give him two weeks to heal, he coming back, he's going to re-break that shit. Only quarterback I'm going to worry about is Joe Burrow because Spags is still going to play uh, man coverage when you should. They have a legit receiving core in Cincinnati. We showed their defense is suspect, but they have a legit receiving core. I'm not worried about Joe Burrow because you can put any quarterback back there as long as he throws to Jamar Chase. Man, that's what like Spags need to get out of his way and double team. But at the same time, two uh, old boys touches his touchdowns, you clearly saw offensive pass interference. But hey, you know, we can't get those calls because we're not respected like that. And unfortunately, in the eyes of today's NFL, since he has a better legacy than us, which is ass backwards. Because a boomer size and trash does. I forgot what Wait, I was watching. Who, who said since he has a better legacy than y'all? The perception that they're giving. And if you could, I, was it NFL? It's not an NFL thing. It yeah, was. I, I don't get that perspective, even though they did win. No, the that's because you know the game. But like I said, a lot of shit isn't for us. And I, like I, said, I just laughed because boomer was going in. I was like, he talking like, is he even in the Hall of Fame? It, was he great? I'm like, since he tossed you out like old trash when they was done with you. But he up there campaigning. I just, it's funny to me. But it's like, I get it. You're trying to, because this is what the NBA is going through right now. 
all your vets, your names are leaving, who do you have left? The NFL is going through that same thing. We need to get started. What did the, the commentator say in our game? Well, I think it was Romo or Nance, Nash or whatever. Oh, my God, this is going to be the best tandem for the future. The league's not ready for this. They just had a big game. And I think it was um, was it, it was on Fox Sports. I forgot who it was. And dude was like, every week has been a different receiver for Cincy. It ain't just been Chase. Why everybody screaming, Chase, Chase, Chase. Dude was like, yeah, Chase is broken. Jefferson's record from last year as a rookie. It was like, but this was his first big game. He's gotten consistent 70, 80 yard games, but this was his first big one at the end of the season. And I was like, but they don't want to hear that though. So it's just the league's going through a transition. I'm thankful we got a, a franchise quarterback. Y'all got one if y'all bring them back. And it's just like they don't like the names they got. And college football right now is so dead with talent to where they're trying to. Let's resell these players that we got. Yeah, the there's nothing coming is, out of college this year. That's garbage. Yeah, listen, college, for all for realness, <laughs> is probably dead the next year or two, if not the next three, because there's no standout players. All this portal transfer going on or whatever, trying to get hot. Like the quarterback for MU is leaving. What have you done to where you need to go somewhere else and where you think you're going to be hot? Where is he transferring to? Uh, he hasn't said. He's. He's in the portal saying he's going to go somewhere. And I'm just like, bro, you didn't have that good of a season to be transferring like that. But now they allow it.